morning my people welcome to a new day you know and today is on saturday as always you know this is that day that i unleash something for you guys and uh, it's just early in the morning just from freshening up and just doing a couple of things here and there but uh, it's going to be a good day because i want to take you along to a certain place later on during the day so it's bright and sunny it's a good day and i'm thankful you know uh, we like saying alhamdulillah meaning we thank god we thank allah uh, for this amazing day so um, as for now uh, i think i'm gonna i wanna read something small is this book that i'm reading currently it's called the 10x rule you know or of this investor, stroke entrepreneur, stroke businessman by the name of Grant Cordin. So Grant Cordin is a, an amazing guy. So this is one of the books that I'm reading. And uh, it's mind opening, you know. So I will be reading this book for a few minutes during the day. I'll be taking you along that place that I'll be taking you. So just stay, 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 <coughs> stay in this video and don't go away. Because it's going to be an amazing day. So, in the meantime, let me continue reading this. of my people I'm already at the location as you can see behind me it's a very big kind of forest and I'm just walking along the outcasts of uh, the aftermath of this rainy rainy day you know it has been raining of late actually so uh, this is the, the aftermath of the raining which has been happening here in Kenya and uh, people who don't know, my name is Ali. I um, I am originally from Kenya, and currently in Kenya, as we speak. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case it is your first time watching my video. So, if uh, you've been following along since early of this video, I told you that I'll be taking you to a certain place and i am officially in this place so i'm just trying to find my way uh, in this desert semi-desert but luckily enough it has been raining so we have a lot of greeneries that are surrounding us so basically this here is called athi river which uh, originally starts from uh, the Ngong Hills and the Ngong Hills for people who don't know you know Nairobi Nairobi area which is the city uh, which is the capital city of Kenya uh, was just a minute guys you know I'm just trying to set my jacket straight because you know you need to arm yourself when you walk in these areas because the rain it's something which is unavoidable. Now the good thing is that uh, okay, just uh, almost finished. Oy, I'm telling you guys, it's now easy. It's now easy, my people. It's now easy. So as I was saying earlier on, Athi River is one of the rivers which its main outlet goes directly to Indian Ocean, you know, and uh, originally comes from Ngong and Nairobi County stroke the the capital city of Kenya the upper side of the capital city of Kenya 
is called Ngong. You know, that's where the peak of uh, Nairobi. Well, actually, the whole history of Nairobi is kind of long, which I, I don't want to get into it. But originally, this river here, which is called the Athi River, its originality comes or starts from uh, the Ngong Hills. So there's a sort of, uh, as you can see, somewhere there. It's kind of far, but uh, there's a sort of uh, this river, which is Athi River, separates Nairobi County and Machakos County, you know. So from this side, uh, from where this bridge is, going that side, that's uh, Machakos County, and this side is Nairobi County. So basically, uh, this Machakos County, or like uh, most of the people who live in this area are called the Kamba community. And the Kamba community, um, this is a, a Bantu kind of a community, which as per now, according to the population of Kenya, it sums up around 11.1% of the whole population of Kenya. So you can imagine these people are quite a lot. And uh, when we come to Machakas County, the basic or rather the amount of people, the population of people who live in this area are the Kamba community. So, I mean, so they speak a, a language known as the <laughs> the Kamba itself. They are called the Akamba community and speak a language known as the Kamba. So this river is very, very wide, runs from uh, metropolises, from Ngong, um, Ngong Hills, through Nairobi County, passing through Nairobi County here, uh, passing along also through uh, Machakos County, and its main outlet is the Indian Ocean. So today I just decided to come here, just enjoy the breeze, you know, sometimes we we get so tight in life that uh, we don't enjoy this, this scenery, you know, it has been raining of late, so you can imagine, it's all green, all green. Relaxing in this area just gives me the vibe of uh, just just a sort of self-love and appreciating yourself. You know, most of the time we we are always on the on the rat race of uh, achieving a lot of things in life, ending up not having time for yourself. You know, sometimes it's just important to visit such areas, um, enjoy the scenery. Just take some deep breaths and just cool off and switch off a lot of things when it comes to the hustle and bustle of life, you know, because, I mean, life, 
we'll never slow down one and two life will always go on you know doesn't care if you're busy or not busy so one of the things that i love doing is as long as i get a chance of just going out in the nature experiencing such breathtaking locations and uh, just cooling down your mind you know that thing is very important for your for your health that's one and two for your brain in general to just detox a sort of detox brain wise you know to just at least uh, give yourself time to relax and cool off and just create a sort of energy for the next week the next day the next minutes you know so what i'm just doing here is just appreciating myself and just enjoying the beauty of uh, of our creator you know because these are just beauty you know these are just trees uh, bodies of water running and just environment at large you know you can just hear birds and just absorbing this energy you know earth needs a lot of energy earth em emits a, a lot of energy you know so this energy that comes from the earth sometimes it's best if you digest it as a person you know so i mean that's why i'm here my people so <clears throat> if you get a chance of visiting such areas my people it's, it's important just take time and uh, enjoy these areas because you know we only live once at the end of the day so why not enjoy these areas you know these locations so basically that's it for this video you know I just went out decided to show you at the river and as you can see at the river is one of those amazing amazing areas that uh, any person would love to visit these, such areas you know the water isn't clean because it passes along different areas it collects a lot of stuff which are not uh, clean that's why it looks like this but I mean this at the river I've been in this location a while back a few years ago you know so today i decided to visit this area and not only me to just take you along as well because you are la familia and you need to check these areas and uh for people who i'd like to talk to people who are out of this country hustling here and there and you saw you see such areas and you feel like you know ali you just make me miss home you know, i get a lot of uh, comments like that and uh, everything has its own time so the important thing is to just appreciate the time that you're working on if your time currently is to work man just work the time to enjoy these things will come you know everything moves at, it, at its at its own time and uh, at god's time you know it's the best way so let's enjoy these areas and wherever you're watching my videos from i want to say a big thank you to you guys a very big thank you for always supporting me and uh i hope to see you in the next video guys so in the meantime just enjoy these sceneries and uh we'll see you in the next video my people and thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and share and tell a friend to tell a friend my people as we continue to grow as more content is always on the way you know sometimes we might be silent and in such areas and in such areas is when you you get a lot of content basically because your mind is always has, is always at peace so that's why i love uh, visiting these areas to just clean up your mind and create new things you know so yeah let's enjoy the area and enjoy the video guys sort of farm but uh, see they have used barbed wire and I get and from a distance what I can see they are planting here is uh, beans uh, we have maize and a couple of trees so because we are near to 
this amazing river then it's easy for anyone to get water and uh, irrigate the land so that it's able to produce as much plantation as possible you know if it is beans produces a lot of beans and they end up enjoying so yep that's what it is you know right now is a sort of a festive season because the form four students just cleared their muddy muddy location but it's all good it's all good so as you can see i don't know if you can see that place but let me get close and then i will be able to show you but it has been an amazing time and uh, i spent a lot of time you know i just showed you a couple of minutes but it was a sort of a good moment for me to just evaluate my life enjoy the moments and just basically enjoy that sound of uh, birds and water and i hope that uh, if you get a place like this that you want to visit then be sure to visit such areas they will be of a lot of help to you mentally and uh, physically in general so yeah that's it that's it my people that's it so where, where is this road you know it's land but since it's an empty land so there's nothing much other than a fenced kind of uh, thorn fenced land so yeah that's it so i don't know if you can see there's a guy it's very good but i had an experience a very good experience and uh, till the next video guys uh adios ma salam